Today, I made two player games the challenge on Scratch. Let's get started. The first thing I did was start work on the main menu. And let's change the colors around and add a bit of text and that looks pretty good. Next, I drew up this rounded button to allow the user to actually select the game they want to play. And then I coded it in. With that done, I think it's time to start work on the actual games themselves. The first game is going to be a battle with tops in an arena where the goal is to get your opponent's top out of the arena. And this game is actually a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. But let's start with the simple stuff first, which includes the background, the arena, and the actual tops. Now we can control the tops with WSD, but we need a way to make the tops automatically go to the center. Of course, there's many ways to do this, but I decided to do a more mathematically accurate method. For this method, we need to find a direction to the center, and then apply a force in that direction. Much better. And we can also turn this force 90 degrees to get the rotation around the arena, which makes this look a lot better. I also made the pull towards the center weaker for further away, and stronger for closer, by using the distance from the top to the center. And now that we have the red top's code finished, we can just duplicate it for the blue top, which the other player can control the arrow keys. Collision detection should also be pretty easy, as it's just momentum transfer. Anyhow, now that we've finally got this working, I'm noticing one thing that we're missing, which is a win slash lose condition. Right now, you can just leave the arena and nothing happens, so let's fix this. So if the distance from the top to the center is bigger than a certain threshold, we'll give the other side a point. And first, the 5 point wins. And while we're at it, let's make a score counter so that the players can actually keep track during the game. With that, I think this game is pretty much complete, so let's add another one. The second game is going to be a tug of war, where the two players will compete to see who can pull the flag across the line. So let's first draw the background, and then the two characters. And the player's code is actually quite simple too. Whenever a player hits their corresponding key, the variable that keeps track of the rope gets updated. And we just need to duplicate this code for the blue character and make some small tweaks. Now it's time to draw the rope in the flag. And let's make it move along with the players. We may as well also design the icon for the button too. But we're still missing one major thing, which is the instructions. Even though these games are pretty simple, it's still a good idea to include this. So let's make the instruction boxes and also add some instruction text here. I also decided to add some classical music in the background, which I think matches the theme of the game quite well. And after looking at the instruction boxes, I don't think they actually look very good, so let's improve them a bit. And I'll do the same for the other one too. And as you can see, it already looks so much more professional. And the last thing I want to do is add a thumbnail. So I made this little background just red and blue, and also designed this film spray. A bit of text and some gradients later, I think that this looks pretty nice. And you know what else would look pretty nice? I'll sub to this channel. Thanks! So without further ado, 2 player games, Scratch Edition. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.